Buzz, you told me this morning that at the end of the day, you wanted to have seen or had the best performance from your team on the season, and we got it. How did you yeah. get it, and what does it mean for your program? Well, I thought our staff was incredible in preparing our guys. Um, with each passing day, with each passing practice, I think the concentration level of our kids has continued to improve. I thought that we played to the scouting report um, as well as we have all year. Um, you know, the problem that you have when you play zone as a coach is you're concerned or you're going to get demolished on the glass. I thought our guys did a really good job of at least preventing that, not that we won on the glass. Um, but I thought we did a really good job of contesting their threes, long shots equal long rebounds. 40% um, of their shots were from three. Obviously, you hope that that's uh, the case against the zone. Um, so, yeah, I, I would. I think I would be hard pressed to say um, collectively on both ends of the floor, um, field goal percentage, free throw percentage, et cetera, uh, turnover rate, all of those things that we chart. Uh, it, you would have to argue if there was a game better than that. There were certain aspects in certain games that we've been better, but collectively, I thought it was uh, for sure as good as we've been, and we and we had to be. How about getting off to such a great start? You make your first four shots. The crowd got involved. The crowd didn't like the refs. You didn't like some of the calls early, but everybody kind of got in there early. Great energy in the building here early today. Yeah, I, I said that to Coach Odom on TV. You know, I, I hated that our last game was at the beginning of spring break. Our kids, our, the Virginia Tech students, have done such a great job of uh, continuing to grow their support of us, and I think that the marketing staff within the department has been very creative in trying to figure out ways, um, students or not, uh, season tickets or not, how to continue to grow the support. And um, we're, we're thankful for all parties involved, uh, the students, uh, the people that are coming that haven't came, uh, the thoughtful ideas that the staff, uh, marketing staff has come up with. It's really changed the ambiance in the environment in here, obviously. Uh, it's it's a little bit of the chicken or the egg, you know, well, if we win, you'll come. But this is not the field of dreams. This is not a movie. This is real <laughs> life. And uh, the people are coming. And uh, for us to go 7-2 and two in conference play at home, um, th that's uh, we're, we're very thankful for that. Buzz Williams is with us. His team victorious by 15 points today over Miami. And, Buzz, there was a couple of stretches. I know you knew they were coming in the second half. Yeah. But Miami came at you got it down to six and then you guys went on a run and you just seemed like you took the fight out of them I looked at their faces and it was almost as if they were saying really this yeah. team is doing this to us how did you do that to them and did you sense those moments of the game too yeah I think our players sense those moments I think that's um, another step on the ladder of uh, growing up and being mature um, obviously teams are going to go on a run but it's I, I think that's almost a given given it's how are you going to respond collectively when teams go on a run does it does it spray you apart or does it bring you closer together and um, they are ultra talented um, I think coach Krzyzewski said they were the most talented team in the league I don't have enough equity to judge anybody else's team other than mine but um, they do put a lot of stress on you and uh, you know they're playing they're they're very experienced uh, Sheldon McLennan's already graduated he's a fifth year guy Angel Rodriguez is a fifth year guy uh, Jakiri is a senior. I can't remember if he redshirted or not. Um, the kid that comes off the bench, I think number 33 is a senior. He is. Uh, so they have a lot of experience. And uh, they've been down before. They're going to respond. But I do agree with what you said, Lays. I think that um, we responded as well. How about – You've talked about point guard play at this time of year is huge. Look at what J-Rob did today. Career high assists, career high rebounds, outplayed the other point guard on the other team – and look at the magnificent job that he did of distributing the ball. And how about Bibb seeing a big basket? Yeah, I, 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 Five just continues to grow up. He's, uh, he's easy to cheer for. He's fun to coach. Um, he's a beautiful kid inside, as I've said before. Uh, he has some little man syndrome like most kids that are that size. But I don't know that you can quantify his willingness in the second semester of his college career to make big plays, not necessarily make corner threes at Wake, but to make big plays that are right, that lead to winning plays for your team. And I, I think it's just my nature because of the collection of teams that I've coached. 
Uh, I'd like to play with three-point guards on the floor as often as possible. And uh, if you kind of watch how we uh, kind of distribute the minutes, for the most part, if foul trouble's not involved, uh, hey, Devin, you initiate offense. Hey, Five, you initiate offense. Never mind, Seth, you initiate offense. Because the ball's going to move and the ball's not going to be stuck, I think that's why we had 15 assists. Our assist rate continues to increase, and I think it's the ball's never stuck. Uh, and obviously, uh, when, when you're passing it uh, to a guy like Bibbs, that, that definitely helps your assist ratio. So um, happy for all of those guys. You're a grateful guy, Buzz. You talk all the time about gratitude, and I, I would imagine I know the answer to this, but how grateful are you that not only did your team win this game, they won it in a fashion in which you were up by enough where you could basically pause the game and let Shane Henry yeah. have a moment that undoubtedly he will carry with him the rest of his life. I, um, I tell Shane all the time, I, I'm sorry that you're not playing as much as you deserve to play. Uh, he was the... He was the first guy that uh, when I hired Rock, that uh, Rock took me to see, uh, met with him in his coach's office on a Saturday morning at 8.30. I made him cry. I was so mean to him. I don't say that sarcastically. Um, there's something about being a former junior college manager. I am very raw when it comes to junior college coaches and junior college kids because I grew up hoping I could be the coach at Navarro College and replace Coach Orr. And so... Um, when I'm talking to Jay Crowder, when I'm talking to Jimmy Butler, when I'm talking to Darius Johnson Odom, when I'm talking to Dwight Bikes, all those JUCO guys that have went on to play in the NBA, I'm, there's no uh, small talk. And uh, Shane wrote me a 10-page letter. And uh, Shane didn't sign until July. And Shane never visited Virginia Tech. He never came to Blacksburg until the weekend before the fall started and uh he's going to graduate in may so to be a junior college transfer it's incredibly hard to graduate on time to be a junior college transfer and not be able to go to summer school at that institution you're transferring to prior to the fall it's uh i would say it's three percent uh and he's in that three percent and uh he's been an absolute model of what we want our program to be about uh, he works out extra every morning, has for the two years that he's been here, and uh, his heart is for us, and his heart represents us. And uh, so for him to be able to have that moment, uh, I do agree with you. He'll always remember that, and, and he's deserving of it. You opened up the season against Alabama State lost. Did you ever think that your team would rebound the race to maturity that you talked about? They would get to this point where they were 10-8 and eight in the ACC going into the tournament with a lot of momentum and five <laughs> wins in a row? Well, I, you know, uh, the group that I'll talk to here in a minute, you know, they always ask those kindergarten questions <laughs> and, you know, what are your goals as if there's a number. And uh, as you guys know, if you – I know you guys know, but whoever's listening uh, that follows us, you know, the one thing that we're constantly talking about is just get better. Hashtag get better. And uh, uh, along the path of getting better, hopefully there are milestones that you accrue. But the thing that's uh, important on the path of getting better is there is no ceiling. And uh, so when you say, what is it that you want to do, you can always answer, I want to get better. And I think what we have to be careful of now, Burnup, and this is what I just talked to the team about, um, on the path of getting better, that is us getting better. That's each individual. And uh, if each individual is concentrated on doing that, collectively we can do that. But we have to be careful that we don't put a ceiling on it, right? Because uh, you want to look back and go, wow, you guys got beat by Alabama State, and then you close out the regular season winning five in a row. Wow, congratulations, as if that's the end. Uh, but let's not do that. It may be. We may not win another game, and that's okay. And I'm not trying to be rude to you. I know you're not taking it that way, but uh, – I think a lot of people are talking about a certain tournament. There might be a different tournament. Uh, and let's not talk about one tournament or a different tournament uh, as if when we arrive, that's the end of the ride. Uh, maybe we could advance. And so uh, in order to get better, you can't be thinking about all of those things. It's a long time until Wednesday, whenever we play, whoever we play, whatever seed we are. We can't control any of that, but we can control how are we going to handle the rest of the day, and then what time are we going to wake up in the morning 
we know it'll be before you and John, but what time are we going to wake <laughs> up in the morning and get better? And uh, I think our group, our group, not just our players, not just our coaches, the managers, the trainers, Jacks, the strength coach, everybody's pulling like, come on now, we got to get a little bit better. And when that consumes your being, like, hey, I'm, I have an insatiable desire. Let's go. What, what, what are you doing next? Let's get better. Let's get better. Let's get better. And then all of a sudden you wake up and you go, hey, what happened? We're 10 and 8. I thought we were supposed to be 14th. No, that's what everybody else said we were supposed to be. And uh, if we're basing uh, what man wants us to be, then, yeah, there is a ceiling. But I, I, don't, wanna, I don't want our egos to get caught up in, well, congratulations, you guys proved that you weren't bad. No, <laughs> that's for somebody else. Let somebody else talk about that. Well, Coach, I know there was an emotional release for you at the end of the game, and all those people yeah, that you just mentioned. That. No, I thought it was, that was fantastic. Great. And all those people that you just mentioned, been so much fun to be a part of this ride into the tournament. I know it's nowhere near being done, but we unfortunately are out of time with you. We'll pick it up on Tech Talk Live. Congratulations, man. We know great how much job. you have to do it. Thank you. It. Good Big to see day. you guys.